In this video, I'm going to show how easy it is to print a WordStar document created on your Next using your PC. But first, a bit of background. I bought my KS1 Next to relive my days using a Spectrum 48K and Toast Rack. I went straight to an Amstrad PC from the Toast Rack, so I never used CPM and only had a passing look at it on the Next. Aware that CPM had no graphics, I thought games would be uninteresting, and powerful applications like WordStar and Multiplan would not be useful, as the Next had no printer port. However, when I updated to the latest distribution, CPM downloaded automatically and reminded me it was there to use out of the box on my Next. As it turns out, my assumptions were completely wrong. So let's go to CPM by simply keying MC on the main Next browser. The Next has effectively turned itself into a Heathkit H19 terminal. For those of you who are familiar with MS-DOS, but not CPM like myself, um, I've learned that the dot subfiles are pretty much the same as msdos.bat files. So I've used these so I can launch programs in one go. So to start WordStar, I simply type ws.sub. And here we have it, WordStar for CPM, which incidentally is downloadable from the well-known internet archive site. Going from green screens to blue paper and yellow ink has happened because I use the next CPM's color.com utility in my WS sub file text. I used one for the blue paper and six for the yellow ink. To save time I will open a document called nextyoutube.ws4 so I press D to open a document and then I type nex youtube.ws4 so this is a document I wrote earlier purposely for this exercise and I've included bolds and underlines and later on in the document a subscript and italics as well um, just to show that these things can be transferred directly to your PC and printed out um, with those character styles intact. Incidentally the next perfectly matches all the keys required to use WordStar. The extend key on the next basically equals control and the break key equals escape. Even the cursor keys operate. The cursor key left to right moves one word to the left or right and the cursor key up and down moves up and down a line. As the next has no printer port to print this document out, you need to export it to the next SD card first and then use your PC to do the printing. You could export the document as a saved ASCII document, but that would strip out all the style controls, losing bold, underline, italics, etc. I want to keep all these features, so I'm going to export the file as it is with all the style controls intact. It only requires a single short line to do this using the next CPM export utility. But to make it happen even quicker, I've written a subfile called export PC sub to do it automatically. So I'm going to first of all exit from WordStar. So I use extend or control K, take me to the main menu and I will just then do 
extend or control Q to quit without saving and then X to exit word star so now I'm just sitting in my drive with um, my word star in and in that drive if I just do a quick directory there is a sub file I've written um, which is called exprtpc.sub okay so what I do now is simply execute that and as you can see it's just automatically copied any file with WS4 suffix to um, a folder on my SD card which I've called PC which I use for importing and exporting files um, from and to the next if I now leave CPM altogether with an exit we will come back to the next browser and I can show you if I go to my SD card with the next browser and where my CPM programs are and go to the PC folder there is next YouTube WS4 copied there so it worked So now we've gone over to my PC, it's running uh, Windows 11, and we've popped the next SD card um, into its SD card reader. Now, Gerald Brandt, who's a sci-fi author, um, fantastically is in the midst of uh, writing a program called Word Tsar, that's T-S-A-R, that aims to mimic WordStar on a modern Windows PC. It's at the alpha stage currently, but it's available to use and it already has the function I need to open up and print out the WordStar document I created on the next with all the character style codes, etc. working. So here you can see WordStar next to incidentally the first car I ever had Austin 1300 GT um, but let's go back to opening word star here it is as you can see it's still a little bit work to do here when you look at some of the menus they um, are greyed out however I can open a word star for document so here you are you see my next SD card in the card reader it's called next three you know, recognize these folders I go into my home folder then I have a folder which we saw before on the next where I have CBM programs and then here on the PC uh, folder I have the program that we just saved there on the next we can open that up and there it is and as you noticed it's still got all the control codes in in the heading there and later on in the document as well and we can do a print preview you we'll have to deal with that little thing coming up and there we are that's what the document will look like when i print it out so just to prove it works the next thing i do i will do is print it out so all I have to do here is go through my normal print process, print icon press, print that, print, and then go over to my HP printer. And here comes the document that I created on WordStar 4 in CPM on the next and just to prove 
my point about the control codes there you are on the title bold and underline and lower down in the text here bold underline and italics actually means you've got a very very powerful and useful word processor on your next